of the Special Collections and Archives at the UNLV University Libraries, where we preserve our region's history. Tonight, from our distinguished panel, we will learn more about the history of downtown Las Vegas, reflecting on what has happened in past decades and how this context shapes our present and future. Our summer series is going to continue in the, on the first Thursday in um, August and September as well. In August, we are going to talk with women leaders um, in the growth of our town. And in September, we're going to look at the role of water in shaping our city's development. So I hope to see you at those events uh, next month as well. I'd also like to thank the co-sponsors uh, for our event. In addition to the UNLV libraries, we want to thank AIA Las Vegas, uh, UNLV's Downtown Design Center, and Southern Glacier's Wine and Spirits for making this series possible. But before we start the program, I want to share with you a little bit about Building Las Vegas, an initiative of the UNLV Libraries. We began this project with generous support, uh, startup funds from the Tiberti family. The Tiberti family's support has really made this project possible. So from our town's dusty frontier beginnings, to its status today as an international, sophisticated tourist destination, Las Vegas has exploded in size and population. The skyline and its footprint have changed dramatically. Unique buildings rise and fall, and lush neighborhoods seem to bloom overnight in what used to be barren desert. This place, our built environment, is unique in modern America and deserves to be studied and remembered. We at the UNLV Libraries want to make sure that this story is captured and preserved so future generations can understand and learn from what has happened here. We launched the Building Las Vegas project to document this explosion of growth and change in Las Vegas and Southern Nevada. So many people have been involved in shaping this city. Architects, builders, urban planners, civil engineers, contractors, interior designers, environmental activists, and so many more people have different perspectives on what it has taken to build Las Vegas. We want to preserve their stories, their documents, their history for future generations. So Building Las Vegas is a five-year project to document the built environment here. We are collecting oral histories from a variety of individuals. Our talented team has already collected over 120 interviews. We are collecting, organizing, and preserving historical records. Uh, so far, uh, John Levy Lighting Productions and JMA, thanks to Tom Schumann, have generously donated their archives, and we expect soon to receive archives from the Tiberti, Tiberti family, Dom Cambrero, Paul Steelman, Fred, Brad Friedmutter, and Leonard Bergman, and hopefully so many more. We're also actively photographing the region. And next year, we're gonna start building an online database that will collect all this primary evidence about Las Vegas so we can study how this city came to be. But we're just getting started and we need your help. We want to collect your oral history. Uh, we want to collect more historical evidence. Your photographs, your plans and proposals, your drawings, your professional archives, your organization's records. We want you and others to appreciate how the past can inform the present and the future. And we're also looking for additional financial support to sustain the project for the next four years. And we can deliver on all this potential. The UNLV libraries can ensure that future students and researchers will have access to these records so that future generations can know how many of you and your colleagues have contributed to building Las Vegas. 
in a way we can help you talk to the future. Many of you probably have stories to tell, maybe some really juicy stories to tell, but we need to act now to preserve them. On the front lines of saving this history are two special people I would like to introduce right now who are going to be moderating our program tonight. Uh, Clay T. White is director of the Oral History Research Center. <laughs> And Stephanie Evans is the project coordinator for Building Las Vegas. Tonight, you're going to get a taste of some of the conversations that they've had as they've done oral histories with people who have built Las Vegas. So I'm going to turn over tonight to Clay T and Stephanie. <laughs> 